What's up? Today we're playing for a $1,600 OU tournament. We are in round 5. I'm playing Steez Abanias, and we are using a team built around Bandit Weavile. And yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so he's using a team... Okay, Nido King. Nido King can be a threat to my team. Zapdos outspeeds it, fortunately. We have Assault Vest Volcanion. I think Weavile could look really good if I can chip down that Tapu Fini. So it's probably like, what, maybe... Like, one Stealth Rocker. So, this could be Scarf Lando, right? Scarf Lando, Stealth Rock, Garchomp, um, Life Orb, Needle King, maybe Substitute. We do have Shaka Melmetal, which is kind of nice. I feel like you probably just uh, lead Lando, right? Or you either lead Lando or you lead Needle King. Should I just lead with Zapdos and throw off a Hurricane? There's no Flying Resist besides Zapdos, which is good. Uh, Kartana, it could be okay. But, in fact, Volcanion looks kind of good, because I can pretend to be choice specs and then lure Pokemon like Ferrothorn, like Steam Eruption into Ferrothorn, he thinks I don't have Flamethrower, that type of thing. I think Zapdos is a good lead. Into the... Into the Lando. We'll just drop a Hurricane. Ooh, that's a really lucky dodge. 73 too. So that is... that's Choice Scarf. Wow, okay. That's Choice Scarf. So, I wonder if he'll predict something like Melmetal, maybe? That's a really lucky dodge. I, okay, um... I could go Lando? I could go Melmetal? Oh, let's go Melmetal, though. On the Stone Edge. We have options. We can Double Iron Bash. We can uh, Super Power. We can also go to Volcanion, making a predict. That was not a good predict. Well, I mean, we got in our, our guy Volcanion here. We are Assault Vest, Volcanion, Zapdos, uh, we'll call it OU Utility for now. So Steam Eruption is going to be doing 60, Discharge is going to be doing 50. Let's just go Lando here. He goes to Tapu Fini. Uh, we, can, we are especially defensive, we can Stealth Rock here. Yeah, we're especially defensive, so... Uh, do we need Kartana's health? We could go Volcan- in fact, we can go Volcanion because we are Sludge Bomb. So let's go ahead and Sludge Bomb here. 20%. Do you think he Earthquakes here? Could I Steam Eruption? He probably expects me to switch out, right? Garchomp versus Volcanion. Steam Eruption doing around 60 to 70. Um, it's doing 60 to 70, right? So, I could definitely go Lando, but I need Lando for Zapdos too, right? Does Earthquake knock me out? It has a chance to knock me out. But I'm not even sure if he'll Earthquake or not. He probably might Swords Dance too, right? Or this could be Stealth Rock as well. It does have leftovers. It's a risky play to Steam Eruption here, but I think it's okay, because... What do I need it for? I need it for Fini, which I already have checks in Kartana and Melmetal. I kind of need it for Pharaoh, but I can handle that too. Let's Steam Eruption. Okay, there we go. Come on. 65. We can't burn because of Terrain, obviously. Um, I don't want to go Lando because I kind of... I don't want to go Lando mainly because... I want Lando for Zapdos, right? Uh, let's think about this here. Kartana? I don't like the Kartana idea either. Um, like, he'll definitely predict Lando, so I could go Kartana, right? Kartana. We don't die in one hit. I mean, we do die in one hit, actually. Yeah, we would die in one hit if we go Kartana on an Earthquake, but I, I think for sure he tries to predict Lando, right? He for sure tries to predict Lando. Do we need Kartana? We don't need Kartana, right? He for sure tries to predict Lando here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Now, we, I do believe we have a free knockoff. So, into the Pharaoh Thorn, that's great. Knocking off Pharaoh is great. He probably will get hazards up now. Oh, we can just go Volcanion then. He gets a spike up. Spike is not terrible. I. Okay, so. Spikes, Pharaoh, Stealth Rock must be on Nidoqueen, maybe. Nidoking, maybe. 
Does Garchomp live Flamethrower? He might go Garchomp on Volcanion here. Uh, it does not live Flamethrower. Yeah, so I can definitely have a free Flamethrower. He could go Zapdos too, but I doubt it, right? I don't think he'll sack Pharaoh here. Yeah, okay. There we go. Uh, we are a Salt Vest. So the question is, do we take the kill right now? Do we take our kill right now? Nido King, there's no way you you one hit KO. Nido King. Whoa, that's that's a one hit KO. Wow. Okay. That's a one hit KO. That's really impressive. Through the assault vest. Um. I do like Volcanion for Feeny and Pharaoh. I don't think we can sacrifice Kartana too. We could go Zapdos. How much does a Zapdos Hurricane do? Zapdos looks really good this game. It doesn't quite one-hit KO, but in general, Zapdos' Hurricane is going to be really valuable. Should we sack Kartana? I feel like we can. Um, Yeah, we'll sack Kartana here on the Earth Power. That's fine. Now we go to Weavile. Does Bandit knock off one-hit KO? Weavile. He knows it's Bandit as well because... Uh, it has high chances to KO, and he knows it's banded because we took damage from spikes. I think he'll try to preserve the Nido King, so let's knock off. There we go. Yeah, let's no let knock out Pharaoh Thorn here. And you don't really have a switch in. You have, you know, Volcanion, right? That's your switch in. Yeah, and Triple Axel is starting to look really good as well. Uh, Scarf Lando could come in and throw off a U turn. I think we're looking decent. You go to Feeny, I think you definitely double switch here, right? Like, if you're... Do you really Moonblast into a Volcanion, into a Melmetal? I think you do switch out. Let's knock off. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Don't Moonblast here. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought, right? Now we can go to Volcanion. We are a Salt Vest. I think Sludge Bomb out damages you. And we do have Zapdos in the back. Yeah, we do out damage. Yeah, we out damage. There we go. Critical hit, uh, a little unfortunate, but didn't really matter too much. And now he loses to Weavile. So can we sacrifice Volcanion? We can. So we'll just go ahead and Steamer option. Okay. Okay. So yeah, Weavile, Triple Axel can win. Lando Scarf is not a threat to me. He goes Lando here. Probably going to Stone Edge, right? Uh, we can Flamethrower though. There we go. Now Zapdos comes in. And I think we do just straight up beat Zapdos. Oh, we, we outspeed too. That's a really bulky Zapdos. Okay. And I think Weavile's Ice Shard should knock it out. GG. Now, uh, yeah, so I like that game. Uh, let's go with... Uh, we have a... T I want to try Hyper Beam Tornadoes. I think it's a really fun game. And yeah, we'll start game two. Okay, how's the matchup looking? He does have a Zapdos, and we are running Life Orb, Tornadus with uh, Hyper Beam, which the whole point is to kind of lure Zapdos. I'm thinking this could be another Scarf Lando situation, right? So... Oh, I forgot to import my team. Okay, so yeah, uh, Scarf Lando versus Tornadus, right? Let's see how much that does. Uh, Scarf, right? Stone Edge is a knockout, so I do have to be careful. Stone Edge is a knockout, so I do have to be careful. I kind of like Rillaboom versus Tapu Fini. Um, so basically, I want to create a situation where I can bring in my Torn, right? I feel like Lando lead is pretty good. Like, how are you going to anti-lead Lando, right? Yeah, exactly. So, let's Stealth Rock here. He goes to Pharaoh. We can... Knock this off, or we we can U-turn as well. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, let's Hyper Beam the Zapdos here. Okay, 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 let's go, let's go. There we go. And the whole point is to open up Kartana, for example, right? So we might have to sacrifice Torn to maybe Zap uh, Simba, the Lando here. We might have to sacrifice it. But overall, removing the... He goes to Heatran, so we... Okay, what is it going to do? Okay, what is it going to do? 
Eruption knocks us out, okay. So we removed the Zapdos for Halucha, which was the main point. So that is good. Now, we did outspeed Heatran, so it's not Choice Scarf. Does that mean we just go to Tapu Fidi? We do have Custap Lando. Let's go to Fini first, and we'll throw off a Nature's Madness. Yeah, I think we'll throw off a Nature's Madness for Pharaoh Thorn. Okay, that's good too. We can... Is it Specs though? Oh, we can... What am I doing? I should calc the damage. I shouldn't get lazy about that. Uh, Tapu Fini. Custom set. How much should we take from Heatran's Eruption? Heatran's Eruption... 25 to 29? But it did 38. Even with... So is that Choice Specs then? That could be Choice Specs, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is in fact Choice Specs Heatran. So we tripped it down for Rillaboom, just great. Uh, I want to check the Rillaboom damage on Blacephalon. How much does Rillaboom do? So it, it's almost a KO with Stealth Rock Up. That's what I wanted to know. And yeah, we tripped, we tripped things down for Kartana as well. And if he goes to, for example, Ferrothorn, right? That's going to be chip damage for Kartana to sweep later too with knockoff. Or uh, Leaf Blade too. So he might go to Feeny here. I think we can just Whirlpool. 20, okay. Yeah, we'll get our chip damage, okay. Um, Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, I think we should just accept the sacrifice. Yeah, okay. You go to Blacephalon now, Shadow Ball is incoming. Do we sack Feeny here? I think we just sack Feeny here. We don't need it, right? Okay. Now we go to Kartana. We have a free knockoff. Blacephalon is forced out. Ooh, that's good damage. We can go to Lando here? Yeah. Uh, Gyro Balled on me. We can Earthquake. You go to Lando, is that Choice Scarf? We probably want it to stay Choice Scarf, so yeah, okay. U-turn into Rillaboom. I think we just straight up win the game now. There's no way you can stop Rillaboom with what you have. He probably is going to scout for superpower. Um, but even if he scouts, we can just switch out and come back later. We are no real we're we don't have any sense of urgency right now. We can still win no matter what. Right? I think we um we can grassy glide here, I believe, yeah. Exactly. Critical hit didn't matter. Oh, uh, it's a Rillaboom. Yeah, and now we can just switch out. Wait, did it matter? Tapu Fini. Calm Mind. Oh, that must have been really bulky. But even then, Moonblast wouldn't have KO'd. Draining Kiss wouldn't have KO'd. Right? Uh, Custap Lando would be cool to use, but um, not really worth it. Go to Rillaboom. And I think Grassy Glide should sweep the team now. Yeah, super power. Even if you go Lando, we can still Grassy Glide again. And you can't stop Halucha either. Oh, that's really bulky. Okay. Yeah, but we can go to Halucha and win. So. Halucha. Close combat and you can't get through. Yeah, we can Acrobatics here, and we can Acrobatics the Blacephalon again, and yeah, the game's over. And yeah, that's the end of round 5. We enter into round 6, and I think it's like one or two more rounds before they start giving out money. And yeah, if you like the live tournament coverage, uh, let me know in the comments down below. But thank you for watching.